flew from Kuala Lumpur out to Borneo, um, staying in Cote Kinabalu for a few nights before hiking up uh, Mount Kinabalu on the 3rd. Um, flew with uh, Malaysian Airlines again, and so good. It's like 86 quid for um, flights with bags, got an onboard meal, uh, free drinks. Uh, yeah, unbelievable. Um, for a short haul flight, it's only like two, two and a half hours. To get all that for the money, yeah, crazy. Yeah, puts puts Ryanair and Wizz Air and other uh, crappy companies like that to shame. So, yeah, uh, shower time and then gonna go out, have a little look around, get some food, and see what's all about here. See what the food markets and everything have got to offer. See, see what Kota Kinabalu is all about. Your 40 different stalls selling dry fish. They're all selling exactly the same. Everything is identical. So apparently, we can choose our own prawn and see which ones we want to eat. Like you. Five, five. Yeah, five. Too hot to handle. Loving the gloves you get given. Um, probably not the best t-shirt to wear. What the size of these? Yeah. <laughs> so hot. Where's the chilies? Get a chili on there. A bit of garlic. Oh, Tom Tom Yuri Seafood Restaurant, Kota Kinabalu. Again, if you're ever in Kota Kinabalu, pick yourself some prawns out and yeah, you'll enjoy the buttery goodness. Because these are bloody good. So there we are. Tom Yuri Seafood Restaurant. Get yourself down here. Belter. I think those prawns, those, I think it was like £6.50 for the six. And they were incredible. So good. Great people as well. Um, yeah, as all the Malaysians are. Hey! You're gonna be a YouTube star, woo! Yeah, there we go. What do you? Seven dollars, sir. Seven dollars. What are you selling? Seven dollars. What are we selling? Here. Foot massage. Foot Money massage. Ma I tell you what. Yes. When we walk the mountain, yeah, we'll come back on the fifth of December. I'll be here for a foot massage. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Say hi. Bye. Brilliant. Love that. Morning, everyone. Uh, first day in northeast Borneo. And we've come to the Mari Mari cultural village today. Uh, it's about 10 miles outside of Kota Kinabalu where we're staying. Beautiful, up in the jungle, very hot and humid. Uh, we've just got a, essentially a 40 minute taxi for three pound. Um, the Uber of Asia called Grab. Brilliant, so if you're ever out here, Grab is the app to have, it's so good. We've got to check in here in a second um, and then yeah we got a three hour three hour guided tour wow look at those oh, there's these huge bugs like i don't know i've never seen anything like it before anyway 
three hour guided tour with lunch afterwards. So yeah, hopefully it's a good day. That's going on the menu when I get home. cultural village done now I've got to try and get a grab from middle of the jungle uh, which isn't the easiest apparently uh, and then go into the floating mosque down in Kota Balu. so yeah don't know what to expect there really hopefully we'll be allowed in to have a little look round um, it was a gated entrance so see when we get down there see if uh, if we can get in or not A new home for a while, let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride Kota Kinabalu City Moss, also known as the Floating Moss, uh, built on a man-made lagoon. There it is. So, just going to go and get changed up. Um, just can't go in with uh, bare skin. So yeah, see when we're changed. Which one you like, Saz? One of the blues, maybe? Yeah, that one looks all right. Assalamu alaikum. So, we're all kitted up, ready to, well, to be able to go inside this beautiful mosque. Uh, it's quite a new mosque. Apparently it started early 90s, only finished in 2000. And uh, yeah, it took the architectural um, study from um, Nabawi uh, Mosque in Medina in Saudi Arabia. Uh, so yeah, excited to go in? Yeah. Yeah, it should be good. 
I think we're waiting for a boat, but not really sure. Oh, are we? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> there was no boat. <laughs> There was no, there was no boat with that. ignorant or not but I've never actually been to a mosque ever which is surprising well that was an experience never never done anything like that before so it was good to do that enjoy it yeah I'm glad I'm back yeah. to me now yeah very very hot and sweaty underneath uh, that attire uh, it's only three o'clock-ish, but I think we're pretty much pretty much done for the day, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice chilled one this evening. And then no idea what we're doing tomorrow. But another another day of not knowing. So it depends on the weather. Um, hopefully, it'll be better than this because it's just. Well, maybe yeah. Gaia Island. Yeah, maybe Gaia Island tomorrow. So yeah, we'll see what it takes us tomorrow. Eh? Day five, uh, just gonna head out to Guy Island today. Um, yeah, just walking down out of the apartment now to get the boat over. So hopefully the weather stays nice. It's looking decent this morning, so yeah, fingers crossed it'll stay like that for the rest of the day. So, got our ferry tickets, nice and easy. Or boat tickets, actually. It's really busy down here. Life jacket in hand. But we've been advised to go to uh, Sapi, which is just off Gaia Island, apparently. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why, but there's no one on Gaia Island who works with this company. So we're just going to uh, go to a smaller island and just chill on the beach, I think. Not quite nice, because it feels like we're the only Brits here. No Brits abroad, hot mud. Brilliant. Love it. Welcome to Sapi Island. Here we are then, Sapi Island. Um, Amazing as well because there's hardly anyone here. Uh, seven, seven quid return. Right off. Hello. Yeah, 10, 15 minutes, and just look at the sand. Little colour of the water. Yeah, need this nice peaceful day before we uh, climb Mount Kinabalu tomorrow. That's going to be tough in this heat. So yeah, relax and get prepared for tomorrow. So we've just found a nice little spot here. That's us. Life jackets for pillows. And yeah, nice to uh, nice to get here and just chill out for the day. It's been a hectic start to the trip, so.
also forgot to say earlier, you get the boat over here from Jefferson Port. Um, and also you get snorkel and mask included, um, which is great because normally you've got to buy those for any and they're a pain in the ass to carry with you. So yeah, seven quid gets you return and uh, snorkel and mask. So just finished lunch and our friend Komodo came over to hello. This one. Look at that whip on the tail. So that's it for Kotakina Balu. Uh, so we'll end this video here um, and then join us in the next video to see why we've uh, got these head torches on. Peace out. <laughs> Cheers.